All right, so for this assignment, you're going to need your white piece of paper, your silhouette, a pencil, and a pen. And we'll talk more about the pen in a little bit. But first, you have to trace your silhouette onto your paper. So you can go right in the center, or maybe you're going to have it kind of going off the edge. I think I'm going to do that myself. And now, if this is too hard for you to see, you can always go to a window or a light box or something because it makes it a little bit easier to say, see through the paper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to trace lightly the silhouette onto our paper. And if it's not perfect, that's A-OK. -okay. I don't expect perfection, but try your best to get it as close as possible. Like I don't want to accidentally cut off a whole leg or something. That would be a little... A little disastrous for our poor horse here. All right, so now that I have it traced, I don't need the silhouette or my pencil anymore. I just need my picture and a pen. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is make your lines darker. Now, with a pen, it's different than like with a colored pencil. If you push harder, that's not going to make it darker. It might even make your pen stop working very well. And depending on how much pencil you put down, you might not be able to go right on top of the pencil because the pen and the pencil don't aren't always best as buds. So just go through and you'll notice I'm kind of going back and forth at places. And that is going to make it so that my pen leaves a nice dark line for me for my next step. All right, so we are going to be using scribble shading for this project, and we're going to start with our lightest value first. So if you look at the back of your picture and you kind of just put a nice little box here, because we're going to try for three values, your lightest value is like you're barely pushing and you're not putting down a lot of scribbles. Your medium value is some more scribbles pushing a little bit harder and then your darkest value is lots of scribbles. So I've got a dark, a medium, and a light and that's what I want to put on here. And it's going to be lighter the farther away it is because while normally silhouettes are black, we are making ours white. We really want it to pop. So we're going to start with our lightest value and what I'm doing is I'm going to start close and I'm just going to kind of scribble out. You do not have to go all the way to the edge because it can fade to white. That's just fine. But you're just going to keep bringing that light. Oop, I went inside. you got to be careful with the scribble. All right. Keep on keeping on there. Like I said, be careful. It's going to get tight in places. All right, and then I got to come down here below my horse. So remember, for your light, you're not really pushing. You're kind of just going all the way around. It's like you're just barely dropping in. Nice big loopies, okay? Now for my medium, I'm going to go about half of that. I'm going to push a little bit harder and drop some more scribbles in. You gotta be careful when you're near the horse, especially now that we're onto medium. Medium's a little bit more noticeable in our white horse than our light is. So half of this side is a lot bigger than half of the other side. I gotta bring it on out there. And you'll find maybe like you'll get like halfway through your dark and you're like, oh I did not go dark enough with my mediums or, wow, I really need to bring this farther out. It's fine, you can always go back. That's the awesomeness of this project, is that you just kind of keep building. But, word to the wise, you can always go darker, but pen does not erase, so we cannot go lighter, okay? So, better to go too light than too dark. Okay, I gotta be really careful. We got a lot of turns in this area here, so I gotta be super duper careful. kind of lost my, I don't have a lot of space down there for a light, so I have to be very careful. And then in here, oh, oh no, I went
one inside my horse's leg. Sad day. If you do something like that, you can kind of just fudge it a little bit. But if it's a really bad one, like I went all the way across, then we would have some issues. All right, and now my dark is going to be half of my medium. So I'm going to go, and you might even just need to go slower so that you make sure that you don't go in there. And remember, you're scribbling. You're not just going back and forth. You're going to change up the direction of your pen drawing every so often. All right. And so I kind of am noticing, oh, I don't have a good transition there. So I want a nice transition from light to medium to dark. All right. And you're just going to keep going until you feel that you're done with. You've got your lights, your mediums, your darks, and they got a nice transition between each other. Your picture looks awesome and you're happy to go. And then you can upload it to your classroom.